I would do, guys, is I would draw this triangle. And let's just make here B 62 degrees, and then A equals 4. OK, now again, guys, if I need to figure out the area, I need to figure out, right, what is the height? Correct? Now, to figure out the height, though, I got to know what this side length is, which I'll call C. Right? But the problem is, I don't know, in this case, I don't know what, um, if, if I'm, if I'm going to figure out C, I got to have a ratio of some sort. Correct? So is there any way I can figure out what the angle C is just based on this information? Yes. Yeah, do you guys remember, anybody remember the? Yeah, sum of all interior angles in 180 degrees. Yeah, the triangle angle interior sum theorem. Right? So C, all angles in a triangle add up to 180. So C equals um, 180 minus 50 minus 62 degrees. And then you get 68 degrees. So now I can create a ratio. And if I want to find my missing side C, so C is a side length, right? That means I'm going to want to use the ratio above. So I'm going to say C over the sine of 68 degrees. So I'll put a 68 here. And then is there another ratio I have? Uh, A's, right? So I can say that's equal to 4 over the sine of 50 degrees. Now remember when I told you guys when I'm checking your work, I'm looking for you drew me in a, in a triangle and you drew me an equation. This matches the equation. Like if you show me this equation and then give me the answer, we're cool. Okay. Um, however, um, some people, again, just a reminder, I'll show you the next step. C would be equal to, you got to multiply by sine of 68. So what you type in your calculator would be 4 times the sine of 68 degrees divided by the sine of 50 degrees. Now, I will do this. And I'd prefer if you guys were doing this along with me. So therefore, you can make sure that you're typing it in correctly as well. And I get 4.428. Second. Yes? I mean, you could, but like, it's more work. Why would you want to like? cross multiplying is the same thing. You still got to solve for c. So I mean, it's just easier to say, well, I got to undo dividing by sine, so just multiply by sine of both sides. I got 4.84. I got 4.84. Yeah, me too. I got 4.84. Yeah, me too. I got 4 times, oh, I, that's right. Good thing, I typed it in wrong. Wow. So it's 4 times the sine of 68 divided by the sine of 50. 4.8414, right? Yes. All right, now, now guys, this is rounded to the nearest thousand. Remember, we're going to use this in a, we're going to use this in a formula, right? So I don't want to use this answer. I got to use all the digits. I do not want to use a rounded answer, correct? So there's a couple ways you could do this. You could store this as alpha C if you'd like to. I'm just going to write the alpha C in there so you guys can see because the area is going to be 1 half B, or A times, um, actually, we need to figure out B, too, don't we? Crap. OK, so we got to do figure out B, too. So let's go and figure out B. So if I was going to do B, that's going to be B over the sine of 68 degrees equals, again, let's use the same ratio, 4 over 50 sine of 50. Oh, it's 62 degrees. No, thank you. So it's B over 62. And then I, here's an important point. Shh. Excuse me. I want you, I'm using A, I'm using A over sine of A again because that's what's given to me. I don't want to use C because that was a calculated answer. Like, what if I made a mistake on that calculated answer, right? So and now, if I do want, if I do decide to use C, whatever. Just make sure you use the stored answer C. Do not use the rounded answer C in another ratio. Okay? Do not use rounded answers. Either type in all the digits or store it in your calculator. So when I do this, I'm not going to type. I'm not going to rewrite it. I'm just going to say it'd be four times the sine of 62 divided by the sine of 50, and I get 4.61. 
Yes? OK. So, and I'm going to store that as B. And again, guys, the reason why this is so important is because you're typing these all into a, um, you're typing these all into a formula. Like the area, so let me store this actually, store as alpha B. And I didn't do the other one, so let me type that again. 4 times sine of 68 divided by the sine of 50. And let's store that as alpha C. OK. So my area is 1 half um, B times C times sine of A. Now again, guys, this ch like, again, this is just um, based on our, like, all these could be all written. Like, if I, if I gave you angle B and C, you could still do the same problem. You just rearrange the letters, OK? Don't be fixated on the letters. So this is 1 half. Now I need to use my stored B times my stored C times the sine of A, which is 50 degrees. So that's what I'm going to type in my calculator. I'll do 0.5, which is 1 half, times uh, alpha B Oops. times alpha C times the sine of 50. And you should get 8.549, and then that would be unit squared. Yes? We were doing this on the quiz. Would you want to put like, the stored value of B or B as in, like, would you want to store box 400? This, is, this would be my way of you saying yes, that alpha. Um, but no, you wouldn't. That would be OK. Like, I'd be fine with that. So sine of A is just sine of 50 because that's the angle that A is at? Huh? Sorry, so because. Sine of A would be sine 50 because it's just 50 degrees where the side of A is, or the yep. angle of A is. Okay. And let me just check one thing. I'm assuming global? Yep. Um, I changed uh, the area thing to 1 half B times A times sine C, and I got around the right angle. You should have get the exact same answer. So. Did you find all the missing sides? So you used A, and then you just figure out another B? Yeah. Yeah, that works. And that actually would have been the better way to do this problem if I didn't. Yeah. I assume this problem would have gone through there, and then I didn't like look at it. So that would have been the faster way, but you should have had the same thing. I used different decimals. OK. Um, and listen up. Guys, shh. Here's what I want you to see. Well, that's the problem. Listen up. Listen, this is very important. You don't need to put brackets around there. But if you would have typed in just those three numbers, and just those three numbers for A and B, you get the answer 8.547. Or 8, like around today. I, I got 5.5. Yeah, I got the same answer too. Mm -hmm. The exact same? Yeah. With those numbers? Yeah. I, I can't store, so I ended up getting 8.54. <laughs> well, I'm getting, I'm seeing it right now, and it's not getting the same things. Yeah. So, Again, what 